Salman Khan diluting his brand equity? Hi, I'm Mitsu Fonseca and you're watching Bollywood Life. Siniswami takes a look at the superstar's career in recent times and wonders if next year will be an overdose of Salman for fans. Successful actors are brands these days. Shah Rukh Khan has famously said that he is merely an employee of his own brand. The key to nurturing brands is keeping the demand and supply scenario in check. Meaning that audiences need to be kept thirsting for more rather than being supplied with a steady stream of products. Salman Khan has not had a release since 2012, The Bang 2, and will not have a release in 2013 unless Ritesh Deshmukh's Lai Bhari, in which Salman has a special appearance, releases this year. 2014 will see the release of no fewer than three films starring Salman. Mental or Azad or whatever they choose to call it is due for a January release. Kick will release over Eid and his film with Prabhu Deva will either go head to head with Farah Khan's Shah Rukh star A Happy New Year during Diwali or more likely compete with Anurag Kashyap's Ranbir Kapoor star Bombay Velvet in the Christmas release frame. Then there's also the small matter of Anis Bazmi's No Entry May Entry featuring Salman, the release date for which is not yet known. It is guaranteed, however, that Salman's Suraj Bharjatya film is not due until late 2015. While all this might seem like mana for Salman fans, the question is, will there be too much of a good thing for them? Will they queue up at turnstiles three times in a year to see their favourite star or will Salman fatigue set him? This is not idle speculation but a concern fueled by Salman's track record at the box office. Let's take a look at recent past years when Salman had multiple releases. In 2007, Savarya, Partner, Marigold and Salame Ishq released. Only Partner made big bucks. 2008 saw the release of God to see Great Ho, Hello, Heroes and Yuvraj. None worked. In 2009, Salman had Wanted, Mayor Mrs Khanna and London Dreams. Only Wanted succeeded. In 2010, the debacle of Veer was more than offset by the humongous success of The Bang. This paved the way for the success of two Salman films in the same year for the first time in a long time, Ready and Bodyguard, a pattern followed by the victorious runs of The Bang 2 and Ekta Tiger in 2012. While Salman has proved that two films of his can work in a calendar year, will the release of three in 2014 be three much? We live in recessionary and inflationary times. The good news is that cinema is seen as a cheap source of entertainment during economic hardships and usually booms during such times. Will Salman's fans fork out their hard-earned rupees and make at least one of Salman's 2014 releases, or even all three, outgross Shah Rukh's mighty Chennai Express? Or will their loyalties and rupees be divided between the three films? Only time will tell. Click here to know why did Sanjay Leela Bhansali yell at Deepika Padukone. And click here to know whether Salman Khan is still smitten by Madhuri Dixit. Do not forget to subscribe for the latest beta and gossip here.